All right, so today we're going to be talking about the Doppler effect. Okay, so just a couple things to remind us. Uh, the Doppler effect it is going to be related to sound. It can also be related to light, but for now we're going to focus on sound. So remember that sound is a longitudinal wave. Okay, that means that it has areas of compression where the molecules are very bunched up, and then it also has areas of rarefactions where the molecules are more spread out. Okay. In this picture, in this drawing, we have an ambulance. The velocity of the vehicle is going to the right, so we can see the vehicle is moving to the right. As the vehicle moves to the right, it is causing the sound waves to become closer and closer together. When the sound waves are closer together, it means that you perceive a higher frequency. And if you're perceiving a higher frequency, you have a higher pitch. So you're going up and up and up, that's a high pitch. All right. For the sound waves on the back of the vehicle, so remember, the vehicle is moving to the right. So anything that's behind the vehicle, we perceive the sound waves to be further apart. And if the sound waves are further apart, that means that we have a lower frequency, which means that you have a lower pitch, and that's when I do this voice, right? This is a lower pitch if you are behind the vehicle as it moves to the right, or you have a higher pitch if you are in front of the vehicle as it moves again to the right. Thank you very much.